What's going on all? Thanks for tuning in once again. We got a big clash this weekend. Um, Anthony Yard against Arthur Petubiev. Um Firstly, you know, I'll take my hat off to Yard for taking the fight. It's going to be a very hard fight for him. You know, a very hard fight for him. But I mean, this is what he has to deal with, you know, with the division. You know, it's going straight for the top. And um, it's a very hard task for him, for sure, you know. I mean, Yard um, is a guy that, you know, he's... I believe he's getting better. You know, I believe he's getting better. And um, he's definitely got great power, you know, within short mid-range is what you want against Petubia. You know, he's not going to be able to to survive the full 12, I believe. You know, Petubia is a guy that, man, you know, he can really hit. He can really punch. Um, one of the few guys that's dropped Usyk, you know, um, in the amateurs, he dropped him with the body shot, okay, and we all know how good Usyk is at rolling punches, you know what I mean, so, can, um, can Yard roll punches though, you know, is he going to be able to handle Protebrium's power, I think that he can, but not for too long, so I mean, this fight's going to have to um, you know, he's going to have to do something within the first six rounds. He can't afford to really um, jab around and try to win rounds off a jab. You know, that's not going to work. Um, but Terbiev is too good of a counter puncher for that. You know, he's going to hurt Yard. It's a matter of time before he hits Yard and lands something clean. And I don't think that Yard's going to be able to sustain, sustain that for too long. You know, so... What Yard's going to have to do is he's going to have to use his strength. You know, we know Yard is usually, you know, walking around the ring, uh, throwing a, you know, one punch here, one punch there. You know, he's going to have to change it. You know, he's going to have to come out like he did against Lyndon Arthur. But he's going to have to roll Petubiev's punches because he can't afford to take a punch from him head on, you know, he just can't, I don't think that it's going to be sustainable for him, so he's going to have to move around a lot, try to get in, you know, mid-range, short-range, be unpredictable, you know, unpredictability, that's the key, to be unpredictable, like Usyk does, you know, he's a very unpredictable fighter, that's how he beat Petubia, you know, by being unpredictable, um, being able to, you know, jump in and out of the pocket. With Yard, he's going to have to force Petubiev on the back foot. You know, he, he doesn't want to be the one getting hunted in this fight. You know, he's not going to be able to handle the power. And he's got to show that he's not hurt, you know, from Petubiev. He's got to show no weaknesses here in this fight. He's going to have to go out there and try to, to force him on the back foot. You know, he's going to have to throw all his best punches, you know, at the start of the fight. You know, you can't afford to, um, you know, like I say, you know, jab around, move around, throw one punch here and there. You know, he's going to have to give it all. Punch himself out if he needs to, you know. Go for it. Throw power shots. But at the same time, you know, protect himself from the, the uppercut. You know, if he's coming at short range... He's going to have to protect himself from that uppercut from, from you know, Petubiev. But he can't afford to give Petubiev room to work with, you know. And you got to understand Petubiev, you know, he's a great counter-puncher. A great counter-puncher, you know. He can hurt you with the left hand, the right hand, most importantly the uppercut, you know. I think the uppercut's the one to look out for the most. Because when you're coming to short to mid-range, throwing power shots, the uppercut can creep, you know, you can creep one in with the uppercut, you know, you won't see it coming, especially if you're going low, you know, that's what Yard's going to have to do, he's going to have to move his head, he's going to have to throw hooks, you know, Yard's a guy that, um, he generates power really fast, you know, 
at short range. The turbium generates power altogether, short range, long range, great part counter puncher, but you know, Yard's not going to be able to outbox him, you know, he's not South Paul, he's not a guy that can do what Usyk does, you know, so I mean, the only way that Yard's going to ch stand a chance is to really just close up the gap, you know, land something big on Peturbiev to put him on the back foot and somehow get him against the ropes and, and do what he did against Arthur, you know, just go for it, just go for it, but um, like I say, the first couple of rounds is going to have to land his biggest punches, you know, his biggest punches. Maybe try to land, you know, lead, lead left hooks on Baturbiev, you know. Baturbiev will be expecting a jab, you know, go for a lead hook to the body or lead hook to the face, you know, something unpredictable, you know, something that's going to shock Baturbiev, you know, to want to be on the back foot, you know, something quick, a lunging left hook, something like that, you know, he's going to have to land something, um, but he can't afford Peturbiev to find his rhythm, so in other words, you know, if he lands something big on Peturbiev, you know, Yard can't afford to just, you know, step back, like I say, you know, we know Yard is throwing a couple of punches, walking around, and he, you know, he learned the hard way against Arthur in the first fight, you know, Arthur dominated him, by outboxing him, and, and I mean, Peturbiev's a guy that also has a great jab too, so I mean, like I say, hurt Peturbiev and go for it, but I think that Peturbiev is just going to be too much for Yard, I don't see Yard um, withstanding Peturbiev's power, I think it's a matter of time that Peturbiev catches him, and I believe the shot that's going to knock him out will be the uppercut you know I think that um, Yard may try too too much um, to, to try to hurt Peturbia with hooks but you know he's going to be standing straight you know he's not going to be moving left to right he's not going to be you know cautious he's not going to be rolling shots enough and I think that Peturbia is going to hurt him and knock him out with the uppercut um but that's my take on it. Anyway, I see Baturbi of winning by, by KO. I think that he's just too too much of a class four yard. You know, um, great great fighter altogether. Um, and I mean, when you're fighting power with power, Baturbi is a monster. You know, Baturbi has got power in both hands. And I just think that he's, you know, a better fighter than Yard. I'm not, I'm not writing Yard off completely, but I think that Vitubiev's going to knock him out by a counter punch. I think it's going to hurt him like he did against Smith. He's going to count him with a hard punch. And like I say, Yard being on the back foot playing survival mode, you know, that's the last thing you want against a guy like Vitubiev. You know, you've got to be coming forward unless you're Alexander Usyk, which, you know, we don't see that these days. You know, people don't have that ability. Maybe above all does, but you know, time will tell, time will tell, but I mean, Peturbiev's a great talent, very strong, and I think that his power, his, you know, his ability to counter Yard will be too much for him, but like I say, Yard's got to roll the punches, he's got to, he's got to go in there, he's got to force Peturbiev on the back foot, or else Peturbiev's going to find his rhythm, He's going to pick his shots, you know, he's going to wait for the counter, he's going to hit him hard, you know, his timing is great, so I mean, he's going to hit him hard, and I see him knocking out Yard by either a hook or uppercut right hand, you know, Petuvia's got that in him, but I mean, if Yard's coming forward, I see the uppercut landing, I see the fight being over, but that's my take on it, I got Petuvia within um, six rounds, um, and I think Yard's only chance is to try to stop him before he gets hurt too much. I'll leave your take on it. Look forward to the comments. It's a great fight. Um, look forward to hearing back from you. And it's fight weekend, man. You know, enjoy, enjoy the, the weekend. Have a great day. Stay safe. Have a good one. Talk soon. And um, yeah, man. Peace. Have a good one.